Okay, this is what we call one-on-one -on -one outside the lane. RJ just has to clear the ball past the lane. So if we get a rebound, one foot outside the lane, and we want to work on getting finishing. Here we go. We guard it, got two dribbles. Keep down. All right, Maisie gets a one step. Okay, she's outside the lane. Good, RJ gets outside the lane. Good shot fake, gets it back. He's got two now. All right, there's four. Stay down. All right, there's six. And then we would go to seven. Two points inside the lane, one point outside the lane. All right, Maisie get the ball. All right, same thing. Now I'd like to see some shot fakes, some uh, pivots, but finish at the basket, okay? Let's say Maisie shoots it from there because RJ sags. That's worth one point. That's one point because it's outside the lane area. Maisie takes the ball, okay? She just has to get one foot outside the lane. She's got two dribbles and we go. Okay, she, that's two. Now she would have three. And back inside the lane. She can shot fake. Good. And that would be worth two points. So we would put this as finishing. We think it's really important. And it's in tight quarters. And the one thing that you want to work on is don't foul. The referees protect the shooter, especially close to the basket. Don't foul a person taking a shot. Make it a tough shot. Bringing it way out and try to finish at the basket. We're just going to do it close in. We'll see how it works here. But whoever gets the rebound, if RJ scores, he gets it back. One dribble outside the lane to go back and score. If Maisie rebounds it, she just goes one step outside the lane to come back and score. Okay? We want to see uh, finishing. We want to see shot fakes. We want to see pivoting. We want to be able to finish at the basket. We keep score. Two points for a shot inside the lane. One point for a shot outside the lane.